Hello everyone, this is a question and I'm back with my haul video for the month of November. So quite a lot of books here. We have uh, a lot of Reddit swaps this month and then the usual right stuff, pre-orders, some Barnes and Noble stuff and Amazon, used stores. So stuff from a bunch of places, including some stuff from the right stuff Black Friday sale already got shipped out to me and I already have, so that was awesome. So yeah, let's get right into it. And uh, as usual, if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy my content, Please like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so starting off with the right stuff pickups, we're gonna go with pre-orders first. So this is all gonna be uh, the pre-ordered stuff from right stuff. So we have, even though we're adults, volume five. I got two volumes of Blue Period this month. So volume 10 and volume 11. We have Peach Boy Riverside, Volume 9. Phantom of the Idol, Volume 3. Skip and Loafer, 6. Classmates, uh, Volume 6. So I'm still missing Volume 3 of this, but I really like the cover design and spine of this volume. I uh, like the use of white. The first of these collectors, uh, full color collection hardcovers of Parasite was released. And this is a very nice release by Kadansha. Really like the way this looks. I did really enjoy Parasite and I'm looking forward to reading this full color version of it. Hopefully they continue and release the whole series. We have Vampires Volume 2. We have I Think Our Son Is Gay, Volume 4. Crossplay Love, Otaku Punk, Volume 2. I did read Volume 1 of this. I was kind of mixed on it, so I'm not sure if I'm going to continue. I'll definitely give this one a shot, though, and see if, uh, if this makes me enjoy it more. Um, but kind of mixed on the first volume. We have a new series, Futari, uh, Futari Escape. Miracle Chan, Volume 6. Shadow's House, Volume 2. Asadora, Volume 6, which has been, uh, I think there was a hiatus between Volumes 5 and 6, so I think it's been a while since we've gotten one of these. We have Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, Volume 13. Mashal Magic and Muscles 9. Tokyo Revengers 5 6. This is a really nice release. I really like the cover on this one. Uh, new series X Yakuza and Stray Kitten Volume 1. This just looked like a cute series, so I figured I'd check this one out. I haven't really heard too much about it. Another new series, Touring After the Apocalypse, Volume 1. We have a follow-up book to The Promised Neverland. So this is Beyond the Promised Neverland. Um, I think this is just short stories and a special one-shot. I don't know how connected this is to The Promised Neverland, but it's by the same creators. We have Catch These Hands, Volume 3. The latest JoJo's hardcover. So this is Golden Wind, uh, Part 5, Volume 6. Really nice looking back cover. We have the latest Attack on Titan Omnibus. And this is 19, 20, 21. So we're more than halfway through them releasing them in this Omnibus format. We have the latest uh, volume of Witch Hat Atelier. Uh, someone had actually told me after volume nine that volume 10 was the final volume. And I'm very glad that that wasn't the case because it's one of my favorite series and nowhere on here does it say that this is the final volume. So I think we're, um, we're good on that 
and that it's going to be continuing. Um, but yeah, someone did tell me and then I couldn't find anything on it online about it being the final volume. So um, I was very happy to see it doesn't say final volume anywhere on this. And then Coffee Moon Volume 1, which is a new series. No, I can show inside here. Don't know too much about this one. Just from what I see inside, kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland a little bit. We have a Galaxy Next Door Volume 3. And Beastars 21. Okay, so next up we're gonna go through the one shots of um, pre-orders that I got. So we have the Pet Detective Agency. This is a Kuma release. So I think this is a BL. We have a long awaited re-release of No Longer Human in this complete edition. This is by Usamaru Furuya. And this one has been long out of print, the previous releases. And so it is now back um, I've heard nothing but great things about this. Can't wait to check this one out. We have an autobiographical manga. I'm a terminal cancer patient, but I'm fine. It's about obviously about a manga creator who has terminal cancer. The Gay Who Turned Kaiju. This one's actually a lot thicker than I was expecting. Um, my copy from Right Stuff came in a little beat up. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of beat up there on the bottom kind of in rough shape but uh, not rough enough where I'm going to deal with having to try to return it so uh, looks like an interesting read we have the first Miyazaki book in my collection and that is Shuna's Journey I do not have Nausicaa do plan on picking up eventually this from what I paged through looks very similar to Nausicaa um, but yeah very nice Miyazaki artwork we have a new Shuzo Shimi one-shot, and that is Avant-Garde Yumiko. Always down for some more Shuzo Shimi. We have a new printing of Canis Dear Mr. Rain. So this is a prequel series to Canis Dear Mr. Hatter. And this re-release uh, has an exclusive bonus story in it, so that's why I grabbed this one. And then lastly, for pre-order one-shots, we have another autobiographical manga. We have Embrace Your Size. My Own Body Positivity. It is about a manga creator being comfortable in her body. And that was it for all the pre-orders. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the back-ordered and sale stuff that I got in from, from Right Stuff this month. So first off, we have Natsume's Book of Friends Volume 1. I've mentioned this in previous hauls. I ordered all of this set when it was on sale during last year's winter sale. And I'm still missing, I think, eight or nine volumes. Um, but they did finally send me volume one. Uh, same thing, I ordered all of the volumes of Kamisama Kiss, and they've slowly been sending me those. So this month they sent me four, five, seven, and 20. So I think that puts me at about nine or 10 of these that they've sent me so far. Um, another one of those series that I had back ordered that they're slowly sending them out to me, Dead Man Wonderland. So this month they sent me five, six, seven, and 11. So I think I'm only missing one volume of this now, maybe two, but I think just one. And then I'll have everything of Dead Man Wonderland. And then another series that popped up on sale in the last month that is a series that I've been wanting to collect forever. Um, I've almost bit the bullet on buying this multiple times before. And uh, yeah, it was a great price. So I finally picked up the full set of Silver Spoon. And so I have all the volumes of that. Uh, this is by the same creator of Full Metal Alchemist. And as someone who loves animals, I figured I would really enjoy this one. Five. Really like all these covers and the spines are really nice. Six. Seven. 
eat. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And the final volume, fifteen. And then another series that I've been meaning to pick up forever. Um, just, I was planning on picking it up sometime probably next year, starting to try to collect it. But I had a coupon at Right Stuff, and so I went ahead and ordered the whole series. A bunch of stuff is uh, out of stock, back ordered. But they did send me the volumes that they did have in stock. And that series is Vagabond in the Viz Bigs. So they sent me volume one, volume two, volume four and volume 10. So I have one, two, four, and 10. I have the rest, I'm in no huge rush to read this. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out, but, um, but yeah, so I'm sure it'll be a while till all the other volumes come back in stock. Um, but that was, um, that's what they sent me a Vagabond. And then this stack here from Right Stuff is all stuff that was literally just from the Black Friday sale that just happened. And they already sent me everything that I had ordered from that sale um, really quickly. It came pretty much the day after I had ordered it um, and everything already arrived. So everything was in stock that I ordered. And so the first thing I ordered was a bundle of cheese, uh, cheese sweet adventures. So we have volume one. This is a follow-up series to cheese sweet home, which I have the box set of three and four. And this is a full color cute cat series. I got volumes two and three of My Wife Is No Emotion. I picked up volume one at a used place, enjoyed it, so I went ahead and grabbed these other two volumes. During the sale, same thing, this is another uh, three volumes uh, released. Uh, we have Imakoi, Now I'm In Love. Went ahead and grabbed volumes one, two, and three that were part of the sale. And then I grabbed these two volumes from a series that I've never heard anybody talk about. I don't know anything about it, just kind of a random grab. And that is Pop Team Epic, uh, volumes one and two. Only thing I know about this is that it is a, obviously a comedy uh, series, but I went ahead and grabbed both of those. And then I grabbed uh, volumes two through seven of Heaven's Design Team. I did pick up volume one used, um, I think last month's haul and this one, or actually maybe it might be in, in, in this haul, um, but from Right Stuff, I got two through seven. I really enjoy these covers, especially seven, which is coming up is probably about as great a cover as I've seen. I really like bright colors. Five, it's another series that I don't really hear too many people talk about. Six, and then here is the Great cover, we have volume seven, love pink, love the amount of pink on this, and then on the spine. Uh, just really looking forward to checking this series out. And that was everything from the Black Friday sale. And then the last pickup that I got from Right Stuff this month is that they finally sent me um, the Assassination Classroom box set, which I've had back ordered for a while. I used a birthday coupon on this to get it for a really cheap price. And so I'm really glad to finally get this. This is a series that I've had recommended to me. Really like these covers, really nice covers on these. And uh, yeah, just really glad to have this box set and not having to have paid a large amount of money for it. So glad to have this. And for anybody looking to buy box sets, thankfully now Right Stuff is no longer charging um, extra shipping on them. That was one of my reasons of usually not buying box sets from Right Stuff in the past was for like a box set like this, they would charge you like $21 to ship it, which is quite a lot to add on to. You know, it kind of defeats the purpose of whatever discount that they give you on their stuff. So thankfully they've gone away with that. They can send it, you can send it out media, you can meet your free shipping threshold and, uh, and get box sets sent out to you. Um, so yeah, so that was everything from Right Stuff. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to the stack that I picked up from local used bookstores. So first off we have 
Uh, I found a store that had a, the first two volumes of Run On Your New Legs. Heard really good things about this sports manga. I think it's supposed to be a shorter series, which I'm always down for. I got volume one and volume two. I got a couple volumes of Sue and Tai Chan. This is by the same creator of Chi Sweet Home. Uh, I'm starting to think that this creator likes cats because every single release I've seen by them is cat related. So I did find a couple volumes from this series. So we have two and three. I got all of a series, and this was actually from multiple different stores to get all of these, but I found all of the volumes of Futari Beya, A Room for Two. And the reason why I picked this up, this is by the same creator of a one-shot that I just read called Cats and Sugar Bowls. It's like a short story collection that I enjoyed. So um, this is by the same creator. It looks like it's a comedy series. And so I grabbed the volumes that of this that I found. I think this is a complete series. So that's one, two, three, and four, and... Nope, one more, and five. So five, I think is the final volume. Um, nope, doesn't say final volume on there, but I did find volumes one through five. I found the one volume of Love Me For Who I Am that I was missing, so I was missing volume three, so now I have that complete set. I found a couple volumes of Cyborg 009, the manga, so I found volumes one and two. This one's in fairly rough shape, but it was like less than $5. Um, and so I figured I'd grab it. And here's volume two. I found a series. Um, I've seen the series around, never really heard anybody talk about it, uh, but I went ahead and grabbed it. I do like these kind of omnibus releases that Seven Seas does. And this is called Girlfriends, the Complete Collection. So actually this is volume two but I did get volume one also, so I grabbed both volumes of this. Don't know anything about this other than that it is a Yuri series. Um, there's that. I grabbed um, the first two volumes of Chasing After, I don't know how to pronounce that first name, Aoi Koshiba. Um, we'll go with that. And this is another Yuri release. And here's volume two. I was not intentionally looking to pick up a ton of Yuri books when I went looking at used stores, but that seems to be the majority of what I found. And then lastly, we have that first volume of Heaven's Design Team, Volume 1. Um, so this is what started me grabbing the rest of them. And there's Volume 1 of that. Okay, so next we're going to go through Amazon pickups. So this is going to be a mix of third-party stuff and new books. I'm going to start with the new books first. First up, we have Tokyo Zombie. This is a Last Gasp release. This is a adults only book. I'm not gonna go through this one, um, but yeah, so there's that. This was a blind buy. I don't really know anything about this one. Uh, this is a manhwa and a webtoon. This is True Beauty, volume one in this hardcover format. Uh, if you've read this and know anything about it, please let me know. Um, but a full color series that I don't know anything about, um, but I thought looked interesting and I haven't read a lot of webtoons, so I figured I'd give this one a shot. We have The Man Without Talent. This has been on my wish list for a while. Finally went ahead and grabbed this. There were some random volumes of Tokyo Ghoul on sale. So I grabbed the volumes that I needed. And so I have 11, 12, and 13, so I've got maybe two thirds of that set now. I grabbed a Osama Tezuka book, The Thief, Inoue, Akikazu, and other stories. So I'd actually pre-ordered this from Right Stuff. They were immediately out of stock of it, so they must not have gotten in enough copies. And um, it's been back ordered for since release, so I went ahead and just ordered it from Amazon, so that way I could make sure I got it because a lot of these Platinum Manga releases, they've canceled a lot of their recent releases and uh, they don't do a lot of reprints. So I didn't know if they were gonna get more of these in stock and I didn't wanna miss out on this and have it get really expensive. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then another hardcover I grabbed is a single match. 
by OG Suzuki. And looking forward to checking this one out. This one's been on my wish list also. And then for third party sellers, I picked up, uh, I just randomly found this. This is Bloody Stump Samurai. Never heard of this, um, but it was super cheap and it was Gakiga, so I figured I'd grab it, give it a shot. Um, we have Insufficient Direction by Moyoko Ano. Been collecting some of her work and I didn't have this one. And then lastly from Amazon, we have a short story collection. And this is a really hard to find one called Secret Comics Japan. Uh, this is by more underground manga creators. So we have a story in here um, by Usumara Furuya, a story by Shintaro Kago, and some other creators. And there's some very explicit stuff in here, so I'm not gonna show it, but this is a really old out of print pulp release uh, for mature readers. And it is in a little rough shape, but for the price, can't complain too much. Um, glad to have this in my collection. And that was it from Amazon. Okay, next is the stuff I picked up from Reddit Swaps this month. Um, so quite a bunch of stuff from Reddit Swaps. So first off, something I'm the most excited about that I got this month, and uh, someone from Canada was actually selling the complete set of Cross Game in really great shape. And so if you've been following my hauls, I've been trying to get all of this series for a while now, and a few of the volumes are incredibly expensive. And um, so with the exchange rate from Canada to the dollar, I actually got these for a really great deal. Um, and so here we go. We have volume one, volume two, volume three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then also for a really good price, uh, someone was selling a book that I've been looking for for a while, and that is Tohio Game 3. So I had one and two. Volume three, of course, is the harder to find one, goes for a lot more money. And someone sold me this for a really cheap price. I'm really happy that I can finally read the, all three volumes of that. Um, and the person who sent me, I forgot to mention, the person who sent me Cross Game also threw in this volume. This was a surprise just in the box, and this is actually a series that I've been meaning to check out, and that is Seaside Stranger. They sent me volume one of this. And then this little bundle I actually got from uh, Reddit from a fellow YouTuber, um, a bunch of books that he didn't care for, and I purchased them off him, and that uh, we got a bunch of new series. So we got Dungeon People volume one. Romantic Killer Volume 1. I know this one is has very mixed uh, reviews, but I figure I'd give it a shot. A Chinese Fantasy, The Dragon King's Daughter. Um, I thought this was a one-shot, but it looks like there's going to be a sequel volume that Scott solicited. And then he also sent me Toilet Bound Hanako-kun Volume 16. So I have uh, everything up to 16. And then the last bundle of stuff I got, um, I got all these classic collections from Seven Seas from one person who was selling them on Reddit and for a really cheap price. And so we have Lupin Third Greatest Hits. We got Super Sentai um, Goranger, or Goranger, I don't know how you pronounce that. And then we have the three Captain Harlock volumes. So all these are in really great shape. Um, I got all of these for e even less than half price. So can't, couldn't pass that up. And then he also was selling this Tezuka book that I didn't never seen before. And that is this really large volume of Phoenix. So this is Phoenix, A Tale of the Future in this really oversized version. And this is a library copy, so it's not in the greatest shape, but uh, it was, he was selling it for super cheap. So I went ahead and grabbed it just to have as part of my Tezuka collection, since I'm never gonna be able to collect the Phoenix volumes unless they reprint them with how expensive they are. Um, but yeah, so here's what it looks like. It's this really 
giant ex-library copy um, of Phoenix, A Tale of the Future. And that was everything from Reddit. Okay, so next we have a book that is not a manga. This is actually from a Chinese creator. And so I don't know what you would consider this, um, but this is Last Chance to Find Duke. Um, I had this, I actually found someone on Twitter had linked it um, that, for, that they were recommending it. And so I went ahead and grabbed it. I really like the, the design of the cover. And so, yeah, so here's what that looks like. So I don't know what type of book this would be considered. It's just uh, comics by a Chinese creator. So there's that. And then I got one bundle of stuff from eBay this month, and I, that was all of the series 2 Terra, which is a sci-fi series, uh, an older one that has been on my wish list for a while. And someone was selling the complete set in really good shape. So there's volume one, volume two, and volume three. So we got all of that. Okay, and lastly, what I got is uh, some volumes from Barnes & Noble. And so these are back-ordered series that I had missing volumes of that they're finally shipping out. And so one of the series is Banana Fish that I'm trying to complete. So this month they sent me 10, 13, and 19. So I'm getting near the end of that. And then the same thing with Nana. They sent me a few volumes of that that are back in stock, and that is 6. 13 and 15. So slowly getting all of both of those series. Thanks to me back ordering these on Barnes and Noble. Okay, so that was everything I picked up in the month of November. If you want me to go into more detail on any of these books, please let me know in the comments and uh, I will try to, try to help you out with that. Um, but otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I do these videos quite regularly. I do a haul video every month, reading log. I just put up a updated collection video last week. So yeah, um, everybody have a great uh, have a great holidays and uh, thanks for watching.